Utah State Aggies dressed up in all white as they hosted the Boise State Broncos in conference play. The Aggies were playing in their first game without quarterback Chuck Keaton and Coach Wells did not reveal who the starter was going to be until game time. It's not about being down in adversity, it's, it's about overcoming adversity and this is a team sport. We, yeah, we have you know, those great leaders, those great starters, but that's why we have other great leaders and other stars to pick that up. Reynolds would do just that with 148 yards on five catches, however, he never got a touchdown. You know, offensively, um, man, we just uh, struggle. The Broncos offense would not struggle as running back Jay Ajayi would take this direct snap in for a touchdown. Moments later, they would kick a field goal to take a 10-0 lead in the first quarter. The Aggies would get a touchdown in the second quarter from running back Joey DiMartino and a field goal to make the score 24-10 in favor of the Broncos. The Aggies would get one more chance after the special teams blocked this Broncos punt. However, they couldn't get a touchdown on two throws to the end zone and the Broncos would block the field goal attempt to hold on to the 24-10 advantage at halftime. Harrison would play one possession in the second half before being pulled. I thought we were dead. I, th I didn't think we had a whole lot going right there. Daryl Garrettson wouldn't do much better as the Broncos would win 34-23. to Wasn't what we wanted. And it was ugly you know, on both sides at times, but they fought their butt off, and I'm proud of them for that. We can cry and moan about all the adversity, all the hurting, but at the end of the day, it's about winning football games. No matter how you do it, no matter how you get it done, just go out there and get it done. Utah State spent all week trying to decide which quarterback was going to get the start. In the end, it didn't matter as neither quarterback could get the offense moving. At Romney Stadium, Bradley Wells, ATV Sports.